everyone. This week we are going to make self-portraits for our class murals. Our objective, I can make a self-portrait for our class mural using only warm or cool colors. Why are we doing this? We are going to glue all of our self-portraits together onto one piece of paper to make a mural. And we can hang our mural in the hall to show our class community. How will you know you did it? First, you drew a picture of you on a square piece of paper using only warm or cool colors. And two, you used neat and complete coloring. A self-portrait is a picture of you. What do you see in these self-portraits by these five different artists? Color, let's review one of the elements of art, color. Here's a color wheel with all six of the colors. Our primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. At the end of this presentation, you'll get to watch a video about the primary and secondary colors. Our secondary colors are green, orange, and purple. Let's say them together. Yellow, red, and blue are primary colors. And green, orange and purple are secondary colors. We have warm and cool colors too. Our warm colors, oh fan yourself like it's so hot. Our warm colors are red, yellow, and orange, so hot. And our cool colors, oh it's so cold, shiver. Our cool colors are blue, green, and purple. Find the warm colors in this artwork and talk to somebody about them. How do they make you feel? Now find the cool colors in this artwork. How does this picture make you feel? Your self-portrait is going to be a square. It has to be a square so that it fits in our mural. It should have eyes, nose, mouth, and hair, and you're going to use only warm or cool colors. Let's say that together when I count to three. One, two, three, only warm or cool colors. Your whole square should be colored in with neat, complete coloring. So no spaghetti coloring down here. All neat, complete coloring. Uh-oh, what's wrong with this self-portrait? It has eyes, a mouth, and hair, but it's missing a nose. And look at the spaghetti coloring. It's not neat complete. And there's so much white space in this self-portrait. Remember, neat complete coloring that fills the whole square. For our distance learners, you are going to take a good picture of your self-portrait and upload it to this assignment. Your picture needs to be well lit and in focus so I can see the details. This one is too dark and it's so blurry, I can't see what's going on. I will print out your picture that you draw and add it to our class mural for you. I'm excited to see what you come up with. Bye.